Hello, hello. America woke up this morning to the shock revelation that Frank Sinatra isn't famous. The singer issued a written statement admitting that he has never been well known and had only achieved the illusion of fame with a complex system of pulleys, screens and two-way mirrors. Mr Sinatra has agreed to dismantle his stardom in a phased operation and is expected to be utterly unheard of within a fortnight. In the day-to-day -day maxi cast, the horn schoolboy who's been banned from maths. Sent him off to school first day yes. and uh, he came day back. Of school. They said, go home and don't yeah. bother coming back ever again. Don't come back. Don't come back. And people describe how they left their own bodies as near deadness set in. My friends uh, Anna and Dave had a party in Chiswick and I couldn't believe it. I was having a heart attack. And I was rushed to hospital, put in intensive care. At this point, I was actually unconscious. Uh, they defibrillated me up to um, 200 joules, which is a hell of a lot. Uh, but my heart still wouldn't start. It was then that I could actually feel myself leaving my own body. Time now for Sport with Alan Partridge. Alan, what do you think happens to you when you die? Um, well, certainly uh, buried, or I imagine uh, in the old furnace, isn't it? I swear, what if you're buried at sea? You'd, well, you don't drown. <laughs> you sink, you sink. Do you think you go up and down in the water? Or just down? Well, I imagine you, I, you go with the gases in your body, you probably rise and fall a few How times. How many times? Half a dozen. Where are you getting this from, Alan? Half a dozen times up and down in the water. Well, you're a bit of an what? expert about this, suddenly. No, it's just that when you die, you I don't want to go into detail, but your body sort of ferments. If you, you, know, you, you know you have a carton of orange, um, you leave it for a while in a warm place, it sort of expands with the gases, and it's sort of a bit like that. How much orange is there in a dead body? Pfft, half a cup. Half a cup of orange inside a dead body? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. All right, Alan, carry on. I just want you to think about that as you're doing this. I'm Alan Partridge, and this is Golfing Action. Seve Ballesteros, the bullfighter. That's what I call him. Though, uh, technically, he's a professional golfer. A friend of mine said recently, uh, what do you get if you cross a ballerina and a bastard? Ballesteros was his answer. I guess if you analyse it, that Seve combines the qualities of both those animals. He has the lithe sophistication and nimbleness of a ballerina combined with the hard-nosed, ruthless thuggery of a bastard. 